Oh, okay. Penguin. Uh, hosted by Mouse City Games, the city of the mice. This game is called Saucy Devil Gordon and is made by a company called Carmel Games or Carmel Games, I'm not quite sure, but they make a bunch of independent flash based point and click adventures. Um, and we got a guy who's apparently very excited about this uh, unknown corked bottle. Um, you'll notice a few similarities here, Penguin, to uh, uh, Monkey Island, which is a game I only know through uh, the lawn play I saw just a few months ago, but I thought it was pretty neat. Um, but the similarities will grow in number as we go on. But uh, this guy is looking me in the eye, kind of odd. Oddly, so so we're just gonna play Grandma, the game. I'm going out to be a pirate. Yep, there's voice acting in this penguin. <laughs> You're pregnant. For better or worse. Yes. Hey ho, my new grandma. Yeah. So he just leaves. Um, that seemingly no. Uh, uh, boy, uh, are you ready for some treasure hunting? No. Okay. So maybe we can. Oh, we're gonna just turn them off. Okay, that's the only options we have. All right, with a spinning sun to show us everything that we need to see, uh, Saucy Devil Gordon right here wants to be a pirate, similar, like I said, or rather the same as uh, Guy Threepwood from Monkey Island, except for this game isn't nearly as good. Oh, we just got something. Apparently, we clicked through it. Ah, you can also get this rock. Heavy. Luckily, I'm a top pirate, so I can carry it with me. Now, Penguin, I have played this before, and actually I'm just doing this right now to see how well it works to before I decide to do it with other people. So we're kind of uh, giving this a little trial run. So I know exactly what to do and how to do it, and um, I'm only somewhat excited about it. But uh, every single game from Carmel Games apparently has this map, and every single game from Carmel Games will also have the walkthrough on the map. Which is uh, kind of nice, they don't beat around the bush. This little area, this little cliff, can't really do much here. Is a coconut. There's a coconut up in that tree, but it's too high to reach. The music's nice, but except for it's a little too, uh, a little too much. Can't really hear the, the voice acting. Maybe that was there on purpose by them. But we're actually gonna go to uh, this little tiki area right here. That tiki sure is scary. That, that. Yep. Um, so that's one of the things about the voice acting in these games is that you can, uh, that tea, that, we can that, just that. kind of <laughs> end them whenever we want. There's a pineapple. a pineapple. I need to find a way to separate it from the plant. And as much as I want to skip through it, I can't. Well, I can. Let's go over that. May I borrow this glass? This, uh, and also, they'll just keep on moving their mouse until we click to get the next thing. So, uh, Saucy Devil Gordon is just kind of, uh, he's not sure what to say. Yes, it's not like I have any drinks to sell. This guy doesn't seem very happy with his job. So we got a glass, which is nice. Um. Hello there. I'm gonna say hi after taking oh your stuff. Oh boy, what brings you to our lovely island? He wants to be a pirate. I'm looking for a treasure. Okay. Yar, I'll help you. But first, I want you to make me the best cocktail ever. Ever? All right, I'll do my best. Sure. So I don't know if there's anything to say that. Oh. And we just get the same conversation again, which is kind of disappointing, but you know, it's uh, it's pretty low budget. Mind if I use your blender to make my special cocktail? Sounds like he's mocking him. You can use it. That's good. So we can use a blender. We know that penguin. And we know this tiki sure is scary. But we're gonna need a few more things before we carry on. We can go to this little graveyard. Let There's see. a round socket in that tombstone. Yeah, that seems like something we need. This tombstone belongs to Terry and Ma. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Go figure, putting tombstones with pun names. This tombstone belongs to Yeah, this I'm, no, shut up. I'm sorry, sometimes I just can't handle it. I'll be doing that a few times here, Penguin. So I think we need to go back to this, this, um, Tiki area, and you see right here that it seems like this uh, this entire clickable area is just a tiki. But it's actually, if you look, it turns into a clickable thing right here, and there's actually a story behind it. Welcome to the tourist information hub. And yeah, <laughs> we get this um could be blackface, could be not. I, I'm not really an expert on it. Don't go near my lost and found box, 
Only authorized personnel may search the lost and found box. Okay. Oh, oh, so can we can see it again. <laughs> Only authorized personnel may search the lost and found box. Hmm. Who are these authorized personnel? Ha 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 just like, is he wearing lip gloss? Fuck. I mean, I, I don't, I would not never do that. I hope you're enjoying our beautiful island. Mm -hmm. It has its charm. Where are all the tourists? You look, Shit. You know, God damn it. I, uh, okay. This is our off season. <laughs> that and we had a shark attack on the beach. Hmm. And a volcano erupted. Yep. And a giant octopus that eats people. I don't even think Saucy Devil Gordon is looking at him. Oh, oh, okay, thanks, Joke. Sorry, Joke, I didn't get you the first time. Do you know anything about hidden treasures on this island? No, he's paying attention. No, he's not. It's an old wives' tale. Okay. So there's just no treasure, apparently. Oh, that's right. This doesn't work. Yep, this is something that all the games do, is that if we want to use an item with something, this doesn't work. it'll actually say this doesn't work. This doesn't every work. Every time, for everything. Which is horribly, horribly disappointing, just because like that's some of the best things of point-and-click adventure games, is when you try to use items on something else. That is, and instead of it's just saying, you can't do that, it'll say something like, I don't think he really wants a drink, or maybe, like, I don't, I'm not going to hit him with a rock, I'm not a murderer. How could you? I know we're missing something. I guess when I said I know how to play this game, I really should have. Uh, oh, there it is. Scissors. Yep. And. A hammer. Yep. There's also. Looks like an old mine. I can't get in because the entrance is blocked. All right, so we can't do anything here yet. So we'll just uh, go back to the tiki area, and you need something to get that pineapple. So of course we're just gonna use a fucking pair of scissors. And in true adventure game fashion, when the scissors would come in handy, we of course just get rid of it. But now we have a pineapple, which is nice. And since we have a rock, back to the cliff, and we're just gonna. This is, seems like it's not gonna work, but we're gonna throw this rock at this coconut, and of course it bounces right into our hands. I have a coconut. And that's all, he's, <laughs> that's all he says about it. Like, wow, uh, it's a good thing that it didn't fall off the fucking cliff, which it probably should have, given the trajectory of the rock that we threw at it. Uh, maybe we use this? I forget how to open this. There's a way we can open this, though. Maybe we have to give it to him. This doesn't work. Okay, it doesn't work. But anyway, this bottle actually... How do we open it again? I guess I don't know. Maybe because it could use the rock on it, but evidently not. Um, but it actually contains a recipe for the greatest cocktail ever, which is just... No, it's the rum! It's a bottle of rum, actually. Never mind. So there... Where does it even say that again? Now I have rum inside the blender. Seems pretty proud of that. So, kind of. Now I have rum and a pineapple inside the blender. <laughs> yep. Um. So the dialogues in these kind of games, they they seem pretty. Um. I don't really. What's uh, perfector? I don't even know. Fucking the money. I pretend to know the word for it, but. Now I have coconut water in a glass. Yep. They, they kind of just gets to the point, which is a kind now of upsetting. I'll add the final ingredient to my pina colada. It's a pina colada. Yep. So. <laughs> he made a nice cocktail. Please take this incense as a gift for teaching me this recipe. You didn't know how to make a cocktail with things from the same. You're a bartender, man. That doesn't. Okay, whatever. But now we have some incense. Which we can give to the stereotype islander. Here, use this. Because he is a. Uh, he's a little bit nervous about all the stuff. Oh, thank you, Mr. Nice Pirate Tourist. Please take this novelty coin as a souvenir. I wish there was another way I could show my appreciation. That's a great idea. Yep. As a token of my appreciation, you can take any item you want from the lost and found box. Okay. Great. And we go in there, and the only thing that we want is All apparently. All I could find were these broken glasses. Yeah, which uh, I don't know if it's supposed to be a joke about like the tourist T-shirts or not, but I'm just gonna say that it's it isn't. Um, so if you recall, we had this little socket, as they called it, 
right here. And also we got a mouse-shaped uh, tombstone, which I think is supposed to be intentional. I really can't. I really can't tell. Overall, these Carmel games, I, I kind of appreciate them just because um, I found out just today that the company makes uh, two to three games a month, which is insane if you ask me. So, you know, this, if, if it's a little rough here or there, you know, it's to be expected. But with these glasses... Oh, sorry. A rope. I'm not going to try to pull it. Why not? Just fucking do it. That could have been really helpful. But this rope, actually, if we use the glasses on it, of course, we can set it on fire and blow the fin out. Which is, uh... Which is... That's just the way it is, man. But we can this get this... shovel must have been here for ages. Very helpful shovel. A weird-looking coin. Yeah, I'm sure that has nothing to do with anything. I think that's all we need. So now we got a shovel to dig the treasure, and we got. I've connected both halves of the coin to one piece. Cool. I mean, just a little more description would be nice instead of just saying like very plainly what it is. Like, I'm walking over here. But I'm just gonna say that like the thing that stuck me up the most was honestly this thing right here. I don't know if this is supposed to be a puzzle or not or part of it, but it seems like if a person's going like this, they might not notice that they can actually click on this little thing right here, and they actually can't click on the other side either. Um, and I'll bring up that... Okay, never mind. <laughs> I thought I was gonna bring something up, but I think that's for a different Carmel game that I've experienced. <laughs> yeah, Penguin, I've seen a couple of these. But we have the shovel now for the treasure. I think the only thing we have left to do is put this coin in this slot. Now the now sun... We have a ray of light pointing to this spot on the ground. That's weird. You're right, Saucy Devil Gordon. But, um, maybe this little drawbridge over here. Not a drawbridge, a uh, rope bridge is actually falling down, so there's probably something really neat on the other side of, of this little ravine, but we're not going to be able to see it. But we got a shovel, we're told where to dig, which probably seems pretty obvious now. And I'm guessing if we had done this at any other part of the day, or at night, we would never have found this, but hey, we did. So maybe Saucy Devil Gordon is going to be pretty lucky. Congratulations! Saucy Devil Gordon has found the hidden treasure! Hooray! Yep. So how do we feel about this penguin? Well, we had a character that we didn't really know much about, that we didn't really like too much, help him find his goal. Which is always the mark of a good video game. So one voice actor for it, uh, it's made by these two people, I think they make like all their games. And uh, it is sponsored by Mouse City Games, playable in Mouse City Games, I think they have a few games by these dudes. And we can step into the adventure if we want. And we beat it in 11 minutes and 28 seconds, which is pretty fine. Um, and they have more cool games by them, too. I think one has to remember, like, what they're dealing with when they're playing games like this. I mean, like, overall, it sucks. It's stupid. It, like, you know, it, like, if this thing was fucking being sold to people, I would be like, this is the most awful thing I've thing, seen. But since they are making adventure games, playing like adventure games, kind of my favorite genre. And they're making them totally accessible and totally free and stuff like that. The music can get tiring, the voice acting is very much amateur. I think if the game had a script, it's uninspired and embarrassing. And in terms of like animation and whatnot, I mean like it's fully animated and stuff, it's got okay colors and stuff. I mean it's I think it's like I said, it's just it is short and sweet. It's certainly a reference to Monkey Island, which I think is a fine example of adventure game writing. I'll have to say that overall that it's uh it's pretty harmless. Right, Penguin? I don't I don't know if you can say that. I think their intentions are um admirable at least.